Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, let us see how we can create this progressive bar with numbers animation in Adobe After Effects. I hope you will find the video useful. So without any further ado, let us start this. Here we are in After Effects. Now let us start this by creating a new composition. Further click on this new composition. Go to this preset options. I am selecting HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 5 seconds. Hit OK. Now let us create a background layer. Further go to this layer options, new, solid. Let me rename this to BG which is background and hit OK. Now again go to this layer options and create a shape layer. Now come to this shape layer options, click on this add button. First add ellipse, next again add stroke and again add trim paths. Okay. Now select this shape layer, press S on the keyboard for scaling options and increase this size to 350. Fine. Now duplicate this shape layer twice by pressing Ctrl plus D or else go to this edit options and duplicate this. Okay, fine. So we got this three shape layers here. So now select this second shape layer, press S on the keyboard for scaling options and increase this scale value to 450. Fine. Now select this above shape layer, again scaling options and increase this shape value to 50 or else 550. Okay. Now select this second shape layer, go to this content options, come to stroke. Let me change the color of this stroke. Let me keep it blue and increase this stroke width so that it covers like this. Okay. Now come to this trim path options, be on the first frame, enable keyframe of this start and end, make this end value 0, move to the last frame and make this end value 100. Fine. Now let us see this. So we got this progressive bar here and one thing let me move this shape layer below fine okay now let me go to this contents let me change this where is this line cap to round cap okay that is fine now come to this effects and presets panel and look for gradient ramp this is an optional one can change if you want this or else you can leave like that so I will be updating this gradient ramp let me change this start color to red and this end color to somewhat this orange or a yellow kind okay let me place this here and this end of ramp here okay so let us see this Fine. Okay. Now let us animate numbers inside this circle. So for that, click on this text layer and input text like zero. Let it. Let us align this at the center. So it is this at the center. Fine. Now select your text layer. Go to this effects and presets panel and look for slider control pick this slider control and drop it onto this text layer come to the options of this text now click on this source text stopwatch by holding alt and click on this hold alt and click on this so we got this pick whip here come to this effects and pick whip to this two sorry again come to this slider control options you need to pick whip this to slider okay so we got a space to write an expression so let me press enter so shit. here it is not animating so what we need to do we need to increase so here you can see if we add keyframes here we can do that so for that let me 
add a keyframe here at the starting frame and at the end frame add a keyframe and increase the value to side 100 so now let us see so here we can see we got these decimal points also we we don't need that so in order to avoid these decimals we need to write some expression we need to add some expressions to this existing expression so let me remove this keyframes let me write an expression here like math dot round when brackets come to the last close brackets so here close brackets and hit enter fine now again add keyframes here enable keyframe the slider by being on this first frame move to the last frame and increase this slider value to 100 now let us see this so here you can see we got this number animation without decimal points so in this way we can create this progressive bar with numbers animation in adobe after effects using strokes so i i hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial so if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button do provide your valuable feedback or comments if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me so we will meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye